Hey guys, Brandon, Howler Motorsports and Fab. So it's February 20th. A lot of guys are working on their cars, getting cages done, uh, rebuilding old cars, etc. One of the things that I see pop up all the time on Facebook is guys asking about cages and how to mount seats. So while I've got two cars in here, we're going to go ahead and cover some of that. So Joey, just show over here. This is a Nissan, and the guy's had problems in the past with getting rear-ended, and whenever he gets rear-ended, the back of his car folds up. So we done some tube work in the subframe area and put in like this little boot bar back there and then tied into the struts. So it's going to help strengthen the suspension. It's not going to just tear away from the body. And whenever he gets to playing bumper cars, hopefully the rear of his car isn't going to just smash in. Now, one of the other things is your halo rear hoop support. I put these in every car, and what that's doing is if you get hit in the top, all of your pressure is going to go right here on this weld. So it's going to take this tube, and it's going to want to bend this tube down. That right there, your head's going to be in this ballpark. So that's enough that... So far, no matter what, your head should stay safe, as well as it's relieving pressure off of your weld here, so your tube isn't as likely to rip or break a weld or whatever. We got a center bar. We put this in every one of them. Cross the rear hoop to the, uh, yeah, rear hoop to the halo. That's also helping attach the halo to the rear. But the biggest thing is if you go flipping, and you get hit while you're on your side. You can do the diagonal bars or whatever you like. I like this just because I don't want anything directly above my head. So we put that bar in, but then that's wanting to take that pressure and that pressure's gotta go somewhere else. So we don't connect anything in the front. We don't connect anything in the rear. It's just gonna take that center and shove that center down. So we usually run a bar straight down to the dash bar and all that is is it's helping take the energy from the roof and put it in the dash spin it around here we got a cavalier this is probably the most common one that i mess with a lot of guys ask how do you mount your cages how do you mount your cages and how do you mount seats so Cage design is very similar on almost all of my cars. We got the rear support. We got the A-pillar support, which I don't have in the other car yet. And all that is helping keep your roof up off of your head. We connect it across the rear. And ran the rear down bars to it. Square tube across the bottom. So if you get hit in the side like really hard or you're sideways and somebody bonsai's you, your cage isn't going to just collapse. Now of the 78 different front wheel drive cage builders, chassis builders, everybody will tell you their way of doing something is the best. So you can do round tube, you can do square tube, you can do whatever tube you want to do kids I use three inch angle and on a Cavalier it fits near perfect cut out or cut around your little seat supports and build the whole cage up off of it you got something solid you build your cage nice and tight and you're not, this cage doesn't have anywhere to go. So that's how we mount the cage. Now to the seat. So if we go to the front and we look down, I'll run a bar straight off of this angle across the front of the seat and another bar back to the square tube. 
That allows you to get as low as you want within an inch and a half or whatever size diameter you're using the tube. But if you get hit in the side and you connect everything into the cage, unlike just bolting your seat to the floor, if your cage moves, your seat's going to go with it. Same way with your belt tabs. Put your belt tabs on the cage. Window bars. My window bars are four inches. And there's a reason for that. In 2010, I was racing and a car lost a brake caliper in front of me. If it wasn't for all the window bars that was in the car, it would have hurt. You don't want your cage cut and spliced and all that stuff you want a nice solid fit mine stick out do it however you want what this allows is i get to put less bend in those tubes and i've had guys come in that want the a pillar bar right up against the a pillar I don't like that, and the reason I don't like that is that's that much more bend you're putting in the tube. So if you go flipping, your tube's already pre-bent. I don't want it bending more. Questions, comments, shoot me a message. Later. Say bye, Joey. See you.